Hello, everybody. I'm Anissa Johnson, the face behind the name. I'm so excited. My box came from Yankee Dabbler. Got my DCC set up inside and a couple of cars that I got too. So I already pre-cut it because I thought I was going to have to do this with one hand. So I kind of cheated there. But here we go. The unboxing. The unveiling. It's so exciting. All right. So let's see. Holy moly, free holy. I don't know. I can get this out by myself. Sometimes the fingers just don't want to work. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my goodness. Digitrax Zephyr is in the house. Casa Johnson is hosting the Zephyr. I can't believe I'm going to be doing DCC. I barely even understand DC. Actually, I don't understand any of it. I just know you take some wires and you put it from one thing to another thing. And if you don't do it right, you get some shorts. Yeah. So. Oh, I forgot. Two seconds and I already forgot. I ordered some cars. So I thought when I got them that I had ordered um, HO scale. But I actually ordered them in N scale. Which is all good. I made it an excuse to my husband. I was like, hey, I'm still trying to build the in scale up. So, you know, it's all good. So let's see, what did I get? I think they're sales. I'm doing my layout pretty much around the Seaboard Airline um, Railroad. I grew up with Seaboard Coastline. So Sal wasn't really around when I was a little kid. But, I don't know. I just like the look of the engine. I like the look of the times. So I'm basically going to do my town with 40s and 50s style buildings and cars. With a little mix of modern cars. You know, it doesn't hurt to have a few extra. So sort of maybe like a Mayberry feel. With modern people moving in here and there. But the town folk refuse to change a whole lot because if it ain't broke, why fix it? So let's see about my cars. Okay. So I got... I don't think they're reefers. I don't think they're refrigerated. I think they're just the box cars. But they're seaboard. Two different road numbers on them. One and two. And they're both Atlas. This lighting's not very good closer it doesn't help come back farther a little bit better yeah so those are my two in scale cars that I bought yep. so I'm excited I'm really excited you guys you have no idea I just love talking trains I love playing with trains I love thinking about trains and figuring out trains it's like therapy you know it's like I get to chill out and relax it's a little stressful when you're trying to figure out angles and stuff, but or curdy or radius, but you know. So I'm proud of me because you know I'm learning in this hobby that you basically have to dive in and try. There's no excuse that I can't do it. You just have to learn. I've never been good with numbers, and figuring out things, but you gotta do it. If you want to do it, you gotta do it. And if you don't have the knowledge, you gotta learn. So I'm really, really excited. I hope this wasn't too ridiculous of a video. Thank you for watching and I'm sure I'll be talking to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, I just realized a big blooper. I forgot to show the Digitrax. Like legit just said, there it is and went on to the cars. So let me flip this around and I'll actually show you the Digitrax. And there it is, in all its glory. I'm so excited. I know I keep saying that, but I am. Okay, so there it is. It made a cameo. Bye, guys.